Welcome back to yet another video. My name is Joseph and this is Pan Am Project. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at my attic. Now, I bought my first house uh, last year during the pandemic and we moved into the house in July. Ever since then, I've had a long list of chores in order to complete our move and, and unpack and everything. And there's a, a, there's still a good amount of stuff in the, in the garage. It takes up a large portion of the garage where I can't park my second uh, vehicle in there. And I would like to have both, both cars in the garage. So during the move, during the transition, I came across different DIY channels on YouTube. One of those being Evan and Caitlin. And I saw their video where they were building out their attic storage in their house. And they did it, you know, they did a DIY video on that. Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. We are once again in our attic in the summer in texas yeah and so i kind of want to try their method for the attic storage that they did in their video in mine and see how it goes all right so welcome to the garage here in my garage this is pretty much how it's been looking like for over a year now and i want to do something about it let me show you around all right, so behind me is pretty much the entrance to the house. And this is uh, what you see when you walk out into the garage. So uh, as you can see, uh, we have a lot of stuff here. I don't think everything will fit in the attic. It might be too much weight um, for up there. I'm hoping that the strategy that Evan and Caitlin use uh, might allow me to put um, maybe a little bit more weight than normal in the attic but well, we'll see if not then i'm gonna just have to get rid of some things but i really want to get this area clear so i could put in the second car in the garage and then i also want to bring in some other things like a workbench in order for me to convert this into a little workshop for projects all right so in the year that I've lived in this house, I've never been in the attic, so this will be my first look at it along with you guys. I don't know if you can see, but it still has this paper from the builder. Alright, so pretty much at the top here, I um, have to be really careful because I don't want to fall through the ceiling, I don't want to deal with that, and that's uh, one thing that happened to Evan and Caitlin, so I want to make sure that I'm really careful here. Our space, 24 inches apart. <laughs> make sure that I don't like heights too much so I really don't want to fall off this ladder <laughs> all right so the attic is a little bit different than I expected I don't think that the plan I had in mind is going to work exactly um, there's n doesn't seem like I can store too many things up here uh, the area is much smaller than I thought let me show you So that's down there, and when you get up here, you have that little area there to put stuff. From what I'm seeing, the area between these two beams may be the best area for me to store stuff if I'm going to keep in line with the original plan that I had. The problem is just, it's not as high as I thought. And the area where I can stand up and maybe have a little bit more room to work, it has a lot of uh, trusses, a lot of cross beams. That uh, will make it a little bit challenging and I also see some cables um, running acro across the area that I don't want to mess with. That would be the perfect area unless I move them somehow. If there's enough slack in the, in the cords I may be able to move them and then put my uh, my flooring over there. Another, another uh, thing to note is that the area above the garage does not have any insulation. So my plan was to kind of create a raised floor to allow the insulation to be underneath uh, the flooring and be able to store my things in the attic without affecting the insulation. But as I can see, there is no insulation, so I may have to revise that plan 
and instead of raising the floor, I might be able to just drill directly into the wood that's here and create the floor because I don't have to worry about affecting the insulation or squishing it down. This is reading 25 and 2 sixteenths end to end. If I go center on center, and 24 inches, more or less. And I think the panels are 24 by 16, so they would go, yeah, pretty much center on center with the beam and then 16 inches wide. Let's check this side. Yeah, two feet, we'll go center on center. All right, so this area here, it's a little bit taller so I can actually stand up. But again, like the cables are behind me and I don't I don't know if I really want to move those, but it would be nice to be able to do the the attic storage space in this area cuz it allows me to go higher. It's just it's a little bit harder to get over here and then I have to deal with the cables. They look like they're pretty neatly placed. I don't really want to break anything. So I think I might be stuck with uh, just putting things in the entrance even though there's, there's, uh, there's less height over there. But that's what I may have to do. Yeah, for some reason I thought that it would have more headroom throughout, but it's not the case. Um, but yeah, here is the other area that could be a possibility if I move these cables. So I'm gonna go down now. Seems the kids are asleep. But they're a little bit sad because I haven't I haven't kissed them goodnight yet. So that was the attic. Um, let's see what happens with that. Hey, so it's been about six months since I filmed the first part of this video. The plans have changed a little bit. Like I no longer uh, want to put the second car in the garage because I think we're gonna keep the one side open to work on different projects for this channel um, and for our business so we're probably going to keep it open um, as like a storage space for inventory and for projects um, and i've decided on the type of material that i want to install in the attic and i went ahead with the attic deck system that's already manufactured uh, i'm not going to do plywood and that's what you see right here behind me yeah so i bought these uh this product, the Attic Deck, um, a few months ago, I think, uh, at the end of the year, 2021, uh, from Home Depot, and they've just been sitting here at the entrance of my house since then, and I think it's about time that we unbox it and try to see if we can install it today or over the course of the next week. <laughs> so, here, let's go. Okay, so I just took out the deck panels out of the box um, and so it brings this, these instructions here yeah one of the benefits to this is no more hauling large sheets of plywood up the at up in the attic allows moisture to pass through unlike plywood so this is what one box brings it brings the hardware for you to install it and it brings four panels for the deck and i think that's about 10 square feet box and so how many boxes did i get two four six eight eight boxes so 80 square feet so hopefully that's enough space there to store most of my family's things. All right, so I'm about to bring my first panel up. Uh, it's supposed to be easier than plywood. The panels are much lighter than probably a piece of plywood would be, and I don't have to cut the plywood into the right size or anything like that. It's already done for me, so I think this makes the, the task overall a whole lot easier. <laughs> All right, so this is kind of how they are laid out. Pretty simple, actually. You just place them between the joists. Uh, mine happen to be 24 inches apart, center to center, as you probably saw earlier in the video. The holes align right there. You just drill them down into the wood with the provided uh, hardware. I think it's five screws per panel. So I think I have two on this side, and then three, looks like, yeah, three on the other side. I put them in different orientations so that they meet up in the middle. Right here. So they press up against each other. If you put them in the same 
orientation, then you know there's going to be gaps. But yeah, you just push them up like a puzzle piece. Press them up against each other. So I just finished installing all of the attic deck panels. Let's go check out what it looks like. Yeah, so this is how the attic deck has turned out. I installed all 32 uh, deck panels up here in three different areas of my attic. It looks like it works pretty well. It's pretty simple to, to install. They're light to bring up, and up the ladder into the attic. So far, I'm, I'm pleased with them. I do have one quick tip and it's mainly my fault towards the beginning of the installation i stripped uh, several screws uh, i learned uh, a tip to minimize that and so after maybe installing the first um, six or seven uh, panels i implemented this method and it significantly reduced the amount of, of strip screws the method was uh, to use a screw lube um, around the screw so that they go into the wood more easily. I didn't have screw lube I didn't, and I didn't want to go to the store to buy some so what I, I ended up using Vaseline and it worked well as well. So now it's time to bring some stuff up here. Okay so I think I'm ready to call this attic deck project complete. Here's how the attic looks with all of our stuff um, up here. Okay so when you come up the stairs um, you're greeted first by the Christmas tree here. I wanted it closer to the to the entrance so that it has I have easier access to it so it was one of the last things I put up here on the left we have more Christmas items in these two blue boxes or in these two dark blue boxes and in that uh, cardboard box so there are more Christmas items and then we have some empty suitcases for when we need to travel I also wanted them closer to the entrance for easy, ac easy access and then some clothes, uh, maybe w I think uh, winter clothes that we're not going to be using that much because we do live in Florida, so it's mostly hot down here. And then on this side on the right, we have two more empty, um, bigger suitcases for travel. And then some baby things uh, that we're keeping uh, just in case. And further into the attic, we have some of our books from college so we have a lot of boxes there of books and study materials yeah so this is kind of uh how it has turned out i'm happy with with the amount of uh, panels that i bought still have some extra additional space if we need it and i think uh, if we need to stack a little bit higher we also have that option especially in that center area although i, I kind of like not having to do that because i don't know how much weight these uh, trusses support i don't want to load our, our attic our roof up too much. Okay now to look downstairs to see how the garage ended up. It isn't as uh, cleared as I wanted it to be but here it is. So here in this section um, these tables and these like two side tables those are projects that we're gonna do for the channel so they weren't here um, during the first part of the video uh, or when we filmed a few months ago several six months ago they weren't in the garage and so um, over this over time we've kind of accumulated more things and then I le I've left some extra boxes that my wife wanted to, us to keep down here uh, that has baby clothes again for just in case we don't know what we'll need um, and some of my kids toys uh, things like that is what remained downstairs this side over here uh, again that table wasn't here originally um, that round brown table uh, it was something that we picked up I think we might do a project with it as well. If not, we're gonna uh, donate it forward. And some of the things here are either going to be uh, donated to Goodwill or thrown away, discarded. And on this side, we have you know more strollers, uh, county bins, and uh, lawn equipment. Yep. And so I still fit the Xterra, still fit the trucks, uh, my bike. But as you can see, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit the my second car like I originally planned. 
but like I mentioned, plans have changed a little bit. And now with these projects over here, um, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to put the car in here, but we shall see. All right, so I think that's where we're going to leave the garage for now. Um, I'm, I'm gonna call the attic deck installation complete. And now that uh, we did this project, I think we'll be able to get started on some of the other stuff that we have uh, waiting for the channel, a, a few more DIY projects that we want to tackle. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. Love you all. Peace.